welcome to our youtube channel today is the third lecture of module 1 jet user interface and today we will be discussing jet's main toolbar in which we will discuss button to access and read the pattern files we will also discuss the mru file list buttons to print and save data button to process and analyze the data and some buttons to identify phase and access PDF database. So let's begin. Welcome to the third lecture of user interface module one. The key to this course is to watch full video. Sometimes it may seem a little bit slow for you. However, if you watch the full video, it will really help you to understand this software. Today we will talk about JET main toolbar. This is the main toolbar look like this. And these are the buttons to read pattern files. And these are the buttons to process and analyze your XRD data. These are the buttons used to save and print your data. And these are the buttons used to identify phases. This is the message board and this is the task macro for auto processing. Uh, I magnified these buttons here and we will discuss one by one all of these buttons. So this is the first uh, our but first buttons of our toolbar which are known as buttons to access and read the pattern files. The first button used to find and read the latest or newly created pattern files in your XRD data. If you want to overlay the latest file in the zoom window, you can hold down the control key while you left click the first button. As you know that these buttons are sensitive to both left and right click of your mouse button. You can fetch a pattern file by its name if you right click the first button. Uh, this is the first button. Cause an in input box to appear and you can put the name on it. You don't need to enter the file extension if it's name file type as the one being displayed. The second button, this button, which is this, used to read and display the next or previous pattern file. And this button is used to bring up the read pattern file dialog for pattern file listing and selection. And uh, this is not very important because floppy are not using right now. People have now moved to the USB flash and some online data process, uh, data saving softwares. So before going further, I would like to show you these things on main user JET. This is our JET interface. Let me remove this zoom. Here is the first button and this button is used to read the latest or newly created pattern file for example this is the latest created file and uh, if i click the second button you can see it will always bring the file we are using and this, the second button is uh, used to read and display the previous or next for example if i click on this it will show you next next and if I will right click on that, it will change my pattern, this pattern according to this list. I hope you understand this. The third button, if I click on that, it will open up the folder that contains my XRD data files. And if my file have the same extension as I can use in my J software so i don't need to change any extension like dot r a w dot raw the other thing if i hold the control button and click this button again it will open the thumbnails of my data that are present in that particular folder and similarly if i click right on that it will be opened like this so it gives you three variations to open or see your data in that particular folder 
I told you this fourth option is not very important because we don't want to load our uh, saved or processed data in the floppy drive. Uh, this is out of use nowadays. The, these two buttons are basically now uh, you know to save the data and uh, to print out your data. Uh, this this area here is basically known as uh, MRU file list basically most recently used file list so you can see your most recently file list here you can see we have used these uh, one two three four five spectras recently now move on to the buttons used to process and analyze the data uh, these are basically the buttons used to analyze and process your data and uh, this button is used to carry out the automatic peak search and marks the observed peaks in the zoom window and the second button applies the active filters to the current data which are opened and this button swaps the display pattern between the raw and the derived data and the fourth button basically shows or hides the difference pattern between the raw and derived pattern and this uh, fourth button sorry fifth button carries out the three possible tasks in this order I mean the three tasks tasks are applies the external theta calibration to the current pattern if a pre-built calibration curve is available it also perform to build the calibration curve using the current pdf overlay if it is present your reference standard or designated standard on the calibration dialog and third function is to bring up the calibration dialog if you right click on it the sixth button uh, carries out profile fitting for peaks in the zoom window using the current profile parameters you have set for the uh, for your pattern the J uh, profile fits all the peaks in the pattern one by one or cluster by cluster for overlapping peaks if you right click this button jet brings up the profile fitting dialog and we will discuss this thing later in upcoming videos so let's move to the user interface so you can uh, see obs observe these things in the real time for example this is my first thing used to provide automatic free if i click on this nothing is happening when it does not find anything the second button apply the active filters which is smoothing the curve you can see it can smooth if I left click on that right click on that it will open the pattern how do you want to smooth your curve these are different options we can explore these options later in the upcoming lectures this is swap Ping the pattern from drive to original. You can see smooth and unsmooth patterns. You can see here we have we have no difference pattern, so it is not available. So it performed the calibration. You can see these things here. Uh, we can see that some of the error here. If I go to the zoom window, you can see the original peak is here so we can calibrate it how can we calibrate these things we will discuss these things in upcoming lectures and now you can see the different spectra uh, spectra is open because there are two patterns one is original and one is derived you can see they can show the difference between these two spectras and the last button is to fit the profile if i click on that it will try to fit the profile the other buttons are used to identify phase and access pdf database uh, this button basically used to fit a line or curve through an array of automatically sampled type points on the pattern background or remove the background using the fitted line or curve if clicked once more this is search match that is out the phase identification on the data in the zoom window using the current search match menu pa parameters and brings uh, this uh, CD icon brings up the PDF retrieval dialog if the PDF index files have been established and let me show you these things in the uh, 
real window. Uh, let me remove all the previously worked data. So it is removed. So the first button, you can see this is the background. If I will click once more, it will remove the background. You have observed the change. This is the search match. It will try to find the phases as you can see. However, if I right click on that, it will give me different options to search my pattern according to these databases. These are the advanced exclusion and it's it is up to you. You know your pattern so you can select any of these uh, pattern from here. And this CD drive, if I click on that, it will show you all uh, different patterns which are closely related to uh, this particular pattern. However, you can also put a PDF number or ICDD PDF number and any number that is representing uh, your data. You can find these type of numbers from different research articles or in different online scientific databases. Drag or make the more space here just by right clicking on this box and dragging left or right. Here are some tips. If I right click on this CD button, it will allow you to find your phase according to the chemistry for different elements. This is the message window here, this one. And just not to pop up different messages during working. They just made a space here so that they can show you the important message here. So your working is not disturbed. In the last, this is the auto processing macro. And this is not very much useful in our task. So if I click on that, it will try to give you different uh, filters here and you can implement any filter and it will uh, apply those filters automatically and makes the calculations. This is basically macro auto processing. I hope you understand this lecture and uh, you understand how do can we use these types of tools in the trade software. Please subscribe our channel, stay tuned with us for upcoming lectures and I will teach you the data processing properly in upcoming lectures in module 2. But before going into the details, it is important for you to have some basic knowledge of different tools, how can we use how different buttons are affecting different things. So Allah Hafiz until the next video.